Sundays at Riddle Pace Field, where the sun shines down on the Troy baseball team. And on this Sunday, it shined down on a 4 0 win over Sunbelt Conference opponent Georgia Southern. Head coach Mark Smart comments on how much his team needed to win this game. Well, I think it's critical. I mean, you just can't afford to get swept anywhere. Home, road, doesn't matter. And, you know, today uh, we played really well. We found a way to score a, a run and then another run, and we kept extending the lead. Although we didn't get the series at home like we expect to and plan to, uh, today was a must win. I was really proud of the win today. And after taking two of the first three games in the series, on Sunday, Georgia Southern ran into a brick wall. That brick wall pitched eight and a third inning strong, only allowing three hits. That brick wall was six foot four Troy starter Andrew Crane. Andrew Crane was terrific. He was the story of the day. He went eight and a third shutout baseball, and we ended up getting the shutout for him. I was proud of that. But he set the tone early. He gave us a chance to get a lead, and he kept the lead, and I was really proud of his work. Not only was Crane's performance on Sunday dominant, but it was much needed as the bullpen was depleted after the first two games. Well, it's critical because you know, in, both in game one and game two, we were in the bullpen earlier in the game. I'm not sure we, who, who we have on the next midweek game, but it saves our bullpen where we can go in and go at them strong, win that game, and keep our momentum going into the weekend and get our guys some innings. If we'd had to go to the bullpen in the fifth or sixth inning, that's a totally different deal. So Andrew bypassed those guys through his great work. And though the Trojans dropped two of three, they did win one. Both Crane and Coach Smart commented on how important this game could be down the stretch. Oh, it feels great. I mean, it feels great to get my first win out of the way, and now we can just move on to the next game. So I, I think it's imperative if you have any chance to stay in the race. You know, we're not knocking on the door of first place by any means, but if we do make a run late in the second half, this game might be the game that turns the corner.